Hopefully. Sunray Cinema is asking its customers to reach out to St. John's County commissioners in hopes of saving North Florida's largest screen, the IMAX at World Golf Village. Shanna David Massett, co-owner of Sunray Cinema in Five Points, is here now to explain. Let me just say before we get started, two things I love. Sunray, <laughs> IMAX World Golf Village. Like, I just love, I saw, um, what was the second Batman, Christopher Nolan Batman? Um, the Dark Knight? Dark Knight. Yeah. Oh, the scene when he was flying through Hong Kong on the IMAX screen, I still think of it today and just like, oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, like, look, peanut and chocolate butter, two things I love. Put them together and <laughs> bam, bam. What a beautiful way of putting that. Yes. So how do we get chocolate and peanut butter to mix? Tell me, what what, what, what are your plans? What are you trying to do? All right, so here's what we started with. Mm -hmm. um, that IMAX theater, you saw that Dark Knight one yes. there. It's, it's open. It's doing some business, yep. for real. And so when we heard this announcement, it's going to close in September, and it's going to become the property of St. John's County, we reached out to the county commissioner, uh, number four, I think we reached out to and said, you know, this place has something incredible. St. John's County is very lucky to now be in possession of this IMAX screen. And, and we hear you're not sure what you're going to do with it. We have some ideas. We also happen to be right here in Jacksonville and we've been operating a movie theater under adverse circumstances for 12 years. Yep. So, Let's, let's see if we can talk about your adverse circumstances that are quite fortunate circumstances in some ways because you, you can keep this screen going mm -hmm. if you'd like to. And we got a response that was, well, what? that sounds fantastic. We don't see why not. Um, from this one commissioner we spoke to, why, why don't you reach out to all the other commissioners? And so we did. And the, uh, the assistant for all the commissioners said, Okay, well, um, it's going to have to go to public comment. We're not really sure what's going to happen. And we said, oh, good. When does the public comment start? And the office said, we don't know. And we said, okay. And so we announced on Facebook that the commissioners are going to be looking for comment as to what they should do with their cool new IMAX screen. And um, here's their email addresses, by the way. And so some people responded to that and responded and responded. One of the responses was from a real uh, savvy customer who made this website, sunrayimax.com, which was not a website. Um, I was envisioning existing, you know, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. in any other ways than... Um, Wishful, fantastical ways. <laughs> because we didn't expect that the IMAX would go into the hands of St. John's County. Yeah. But when movie theaters go dark, as they do across America day yep. by yep. day, um, they go different routes. And what happens to them is always an interesting thing. And we as Sunray are always curious to see what happens to it. This one is just so close to us and we're in a position to take it on right away. There's no, there's no reason for it to go dark. Yeah. And you guys, I mean, you've, you've, you've done this before because before you took over Sunray, it was Club 5, which uh, I, I've I had many, many crazy nights at Club 5. Um, but but when Club 5 closed down, you guys came in and, and made it a movie theater again. So my other half has been showing movies to this community and bringing movies to this community. Forever. Before I was here, I moved yep. here in 2003, so before that, right? Yep. And um, in any spaces that can yep. be converted to uh, showing movies, he has seen and jumped on and worked with um, in all kinds of ways. So there's all kinds of history, but the history with this particular space started in 2011. Yeah. Because um, it wasn't a movie theater, you're right, for some, quite some time. And there's, um, there's a big change in the way that people see movies now, but there was... Before, when that single screen, as it was, yep. closed and became a nightclub, that was because people were changing the way that they were going to see their movies. Absolutely. And that was a hot minute ago. Yeah. I, and, you know, I, when I think about um, San Marco, the, the, the movie theater closing in San Marco, it kind of breaks my heart. Like, these places are, are you know, because movies, theater, the art, it's, 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 it's a communal experience. You know, like, you're, you're there with... I remember being in that IMAX during Dark Night and watching the entire audience feel like we were flying through Hong Kong with Batman and we were all doing it together. Like it's a very communal experience. And so when, you know, one of these great theaters closed down and it closes down in our community, I, I feel like it really takes something away from our community. It doesn't take away those memories, but it does take away those opportunities Absolutely. for you and your family. And for a lot of people, movie going is a family thing. Yep. Um, 
And when we all get into a room together and we engage in that same story, we let go of a lot of things uh-huh. and we let go of all of those things together. And, it, and it's really cool to see us come together in real life, not that being in the movie theater isn't real life, but in the light. And we come together and we say, hey, this experience is so important to us. We're going to write to you, commissioners. We're going to write to you all at once, and we're going to tell you this really needs to stay in our community. There's not so many opportunities to, to tell your community leaders that. So do all St. John's County reach out to the commissioners and uh, Sunray at IMAX.